Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Saturday, September 1st, 8.57 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You're looking at the UAH satellite-based temperatures of the global lower atmosphere coming in for August 2018 at just plus 0.19 degrees C. That is a temperature drop of 0.67 degrees C since January 2016. One of the largest temperature drops in decades. And we're sitting at the same temperature we were sitting at way back here in 1987. If that's not a boom, I don't know what is. Skiing in the Tetons in August, perhaps. Owen Leeper finds a summer stash the last week of August. Here's a selfie in the middle Teton after four point hours of hiking up on Tuesday. Monday's all-day soaker dropped more than a foot of snow this week above the higher elevation, so Leaper humped 6,000 vertical feet to find a stash in the middle Teton. And that is a midsummer boom. Al, I thought I the snow is in the middle of the summer. Boom! I yep, it's true. First descent of the season or last one, you call it. That is a continuous winter in the middle Teton. Let's look at the actual snow facts. And what happens in the first week of September is the Arctic ice turns up and starts growing again. And you can hear, see, see here clearly the amount of snow falling in Greenland <laughs> off the charts. Maybe up to five feet here on the eastern coast. Mm -hmm. Five feet according to the GFS model. Boom! Whew. And plenty of snow falling up in the Arctic. Going to turn those numbers forward. Summer snow falls in the Alps for the second weekend in a row. And they make another amazing, not-so-weird-looking pregnant snow lady. <laughs> it is a pregnant snow lady. Yes. Prepare now. Survive later. Boom. Watch this. Yes. Scroll down. We're doing it. Storm by Patrick Thorne. First September, it's been snowing in the Alps and higher slopes for the second weekend in a row. The Stubai Glacier, which is said to be shrinking by alarmists, is actually open for its 1819 ski season later this month. Posting the image below this morning and said to have 20 centimeters of snowfall in the past 24 hours. <laughs> Will it ever end? The image is topped from Pitzel Glacier, which is scheduled to open for its eight-month 2018-19 ski season fortnight on September 15th. And the season is looking epic. Yes, it's true. Snowing all sir in the Alps. Let's just get a boom on there. Coming from Electroverse, heavy summer snow in Turkey. Heavy snow fell in the Turkish province of Kars late this week during the height of the tourist season, according to local newspaper Merkez. Snowfall in the region is extremely rare for this time of year, and it took motorists by surprise on the route to the Kars Kazgiman. Al! <laughs> the temperatures plummeted 7C in just one hour and snow blocked highways leading to the area's popular tourist resorts. Severe weather blamed for Scottish Borders Council. Complaint rise. Severe winter weather has been partly blamed for the rise in the council's complaints. A blast of bad weather has been blamed for 22% rise in complaints received by the borders in the council last year. A total of 927 cases were recorded, compared with just 759 in the previous 12 months. The council said the number of complaints judged to be valid had risen up to almost 20%. Yes. It added that despite the rise, the rate of complaints per population remained well below the average. Blah, 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 blah. Huh. I wonder what that means. The evidence is mounting. 63,000 flee deadly Myanmar dam collapse totally fluxed in this region. A dam collapsed in Myanmar, central Bago region Wednesday following heavy monsoon rains totally fluxing the region, displacing tens of thousands and killing at least four. Whew. Didn't get the memo. Seismic update. The world is rumbling. The ring of fire. We have moderate uptick in moderate earthquakes. Space weather news update. Solar sector boundary crossing expected on September 3rd. The Earth will cross a fold in the heliospheric current sheet. It sounds like Star Trek, but it's just 
Space news. A vast wavy structure in interplanetary space separating regions of opposite magnetic polarity is the heliospheric current sheet, positive on one side, negative on the other. It's called the solar sector boundary crossing when we move from one region to the other, and it could trigger a geomagnetic activity around Earth's poles on the 3rd. Arctic sky watchers should be on alert. Now, <coughs> it's our birthday. 159 years ago today, the Carrington event occurred. Well, in today, meaning tomorrow, which is in a few hours from now, but it's also happening somewhere on the other side of the Earth. Right now, tomorrow is today, but we're talking about September 2nd. 1859. A billion ton coronal mass ejection slammed into Earth's magnetic field. Campers in the Rocky Mountains woke up in the middle of the night thinking that the glow they had seen was sunrise. No, it was the northern lights. Plasma discharge. People in Cuba read their morning newspaper by the red illumination of the Aurora Borealis. Earth was peppered by particles so energetic they altered the chemistry of the polar ice lit people on fire that were telegraphing, and on and on. As the day unfolded, the gathering storm electrified telegraph lines, shocking technicians setting their telegraph papers on fire. The Victorian internet was knocked offline. The magnetometers around the world recorded strong disturbances in the planetary magnetic field for more than a week. And the skies glowed for days at night. The cause of all this was an extraordinary solar flare witnessed the day before by British astronomer Richard Carrington. His sighting on September 1st, 1859 marked the discovery of solar flares and foreshadowed a new field of study. Grand solar minimum much? <clears throat> and now we are here today with the knowledge of the past, plasma physics, the historical documentation, paleogeography, and paleoclimatology. And we know it was bad here and even worse. And we know where we're going is worse than when it was really bad. So we implore you to prepare now. The powers that be are not going to warn you. A similar flare will occur. A Carrington-type event. And when it does occur, we're not signing up for the newsletter, I'm sorry. And in fact, we're overdue for the 150-year Carrington event. And we are living in a world peppered with technology. And our grid is failing. The infrastructure is ancient. So come and get your science up. Check out the links below and get prepared for what is inevitable. And here is what would happen if a solar storm wiped out technology as we know it. Yeah, it would be a boom. And you would be totally fluxed unless you were prepared. If you're in a major city, it would be bad and you would have to bug out. The most relevant clue lies in some strange events that befell the world on March 19, uh, 1989. A large solar storm struck Earth, courtesy of a CME. And it did fry the grid up in Quebec. But a Carrington-type event would black out the planet for years in certain regions. And the population would be reduced up to 90% within one year in those regions. And it would literally be hell on Earth. Earth's big freeze looms as sun remains devoid of sunspots for most of 2018. Scientists believe the Earth could experience a big freeze as the sun goes through what is known as solar minimum. We're talking about grand solar minimum. Now, you could come read the fluff piece by Zero Hedge, but they are warning you. And we're telling you the facts. Greenland has gained 510 billion tons of ice over the last year. Summer is over and Greenland's surface has gained 510 billion tons of ice over the past year, about 40% above normal. And we got September's, September 1st top secret ice charts, the ice and weather briefing. 
<coughs> and it includes photos of the Bellot Strait Eastern Entrance. Why is this significant? This is the Northwest Passage where the global warming zealots think they're going through. Do you see these large rafts? These are multi-year ice rafts. Old ice flow, this whole region in the Northwest Passage. You're not getting through there. This is the peak melt-off. This is when you could do it. This is when they're just going to boat through here. Here's a picture from CGBN, Gulf of Boothia, multi-year ice flow with visitors. Look at how healthy those bears look. Look at the kills. Look at all the blood on here. What? The media is not showing you that one. This is coming out from yesterday. Look at the timestamps on this. Those are the facts. The bears are full. And they are walking around on multi-year ice flows. And they are feeding plentifully. And they're plump. And their cubs are plump. You chumps. This is the... Today, this is today's briefing. 8 2018 these pictures are coming out from the Northwest Passage. And these polar bears are eating well. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, the facts are the facts. And here's some more of them. This is NISEP, the CFSR. Weather Bell analysis. Yeah, it's this month, September. Global temperature anomaly. Check it out. It's at zero. That's less than this. Zero's down here on the black line. Just as we predicted would happen by October. That we would be down on this black line. By October. And dropping. Are you picking it up? Are you preparing? Check out my Patriot Supply. They have everything you need. They have the lowest prices of all the prepping sites. And by buying from the link below, you're supporting Oppenheimer Ranch and you're supporting your preparedness to survive and thrive in the future. If you don't have a water filter, you can get one here. Alexa Pro. If you don't have any preps, start with some long-term food storage. Get a kit. Buy some bulk 10 cans. Just click on the link you want and go. Start sprouting. You can do it on My Patriot Supply. Support Oppenheimer Ranch and support yourself. The prices are killer and they're all discounted now. Black Bean Burger, 38 servings, 16 bucks. That could save your arse. <laughs> 14 bucks for drink mix. Powdered milk. I love banana chips. 12 bucks, 33 servings. Long grain wild rice, 47 servings, 8 bucks. Get 10 of them. I am. Pancakes, 8 bucks, 32 servings. Get 10 of them. 10 quick oats. Buy some shelves, stock it high. 25 year shelf life. Whew. That's a boom. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. I'm back home. I have cannabis oil. I have colloidal silver that I'm spraying in my mouth. I will be smoking of the cannabis in a moment. And I will be well. We love each and every one of you. It's good to be home. Be safe. And that's a boom.